finds out what you can do, it's going to change everything. Was Superman Returns a part of your thought process when you were working on this? Was it a shadow on this film when you were in the creative process? How does that work for you? I don't think you? so. I think the, the main thing was that we had said from the beginning that, look, we want to make sure that we make a movie that owes nothing to any movies that have come before it. Mm -hmm. And that includes the Donner movies and the TV show, everything. We wanted to make sure that this movie could draw on the comic book in a way maybe that if you do include the movies, the movies kind of take over the canon, they take over the source material. Mm -hmm. And we felt like, okay, if we separate that, we're allowed to go back to the well in a meaningful way. Then really, then we can recreate it. And that way the Superman Returns movie doesn't really factor into the decision-making process that we, were, that we had, because we had already said, okay, let's not worry about those movies. Mm -hmm. At what point do you start thinking about a sequel? We talked about it while we were making the movie, just like, well, I wonder what would happen next. Right. But not in crazy more detail than that, only because it's fun to talk about it. You know? Right. Here's the one fun thing. We fired a lot of our bullets in this movie. Uh -huh. you know? like, it wasn't like we've been holding a lot back you know, right. for a sequel. We really like, bah, 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 click, click, click. <laughs> you know, it, if there were you know, ever to be a sequel, the big problem, of course, would be just like, what do you do now? Uh -huh. Like, what do you got? Right. And so it's, uh, that's, but by the way, that's an uptown problem. That's a good problem to have. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You will not win. For every human you save, we will kill a million more.